Hello everyone, I'm actually kind of double vlogging today, if that makes sense. Um, basically, I got this new instant camera and I wanted to test it out today because I'm going out with some friends and hopefully it'll be quite like good conditions to test it out. And I thought I might just like talk you through the camera as well because it's a new, completely new instant camera. It's the Lomography Lomo Instant Automat. So I thought it just might be quite interesting to show you. Please excuse my crumpled bedding, but this is the camera. So I've got the South Beach version of it. Um, it's got a little lens cap, which nicely kind of cords onto the side, so I won't lose that, which is great. Um, it is a bit different to um, my normal instant camera, just in like looks-wise overall, but obviously it's from a different brand. So of course it's gonna look different, but you can see me there, hello. <laughs> Um, so this here is the shutter button at the bottom which is a bit, it's going to take some getting used to there and it also acts as like a little mirror for when you want to take a selfie. Um, and then what I really like so far is like this here, um, that's actually how like how you can tell how many shots are left in the camera which is really clever. On my other camera there's just a little kind of uh, like a screen that says how many shots but I think that's quite a, a very minimalist way of doing it. Something else I like about this camera is that it'd be very hard to turn on accidentally because basically there's a, a button down here and then you have to move the dial of the lens to turn it on. So that's really awesome. So many times my other camera has accidentally turned itself on in my bag and sometimes taken photos so it's just like a waste. So here's obviously how you, uh, I'm not going to open this because it's got a film in it as you can tell. Obviously this is the film pack that you use, it's the instant mini film. So. This is how you would get the film back off to put film in. And then these are quite funny. These are like some of the different um, like settings you can use. So there's obviously for the flash, multiple exposure. I believe that's a like um, to either lighten or darken the shot. I'm not sure, I've left the manual at Leo's. So I, um, I'm just gonna have to guess today with some of the settings, which would be quite fun. Um, I'm guessing this is an automatic mode and then bulb, I think. Again, it's going to be a bit hit and miss today, so hopefully all the shots come out nicely. And obviously there's the battery door, um, you need CR2 batteries, two of them, for this camera. And then also the, the lens cap even is a remote as well, so you need batteries for those. Um, I can't remember which one it is now, but that's quite fun. I also have two lenses, um, like additional lenses I'm going to try out with it today. So this is obviously the wide angle one. and we also have a fisheye one which is very very lomography in my eyes so is it gonna focus probably not um so yeah i'm excited to try these out and i will let you know what i think For the first time in like a weird lighting situation, we found this like installation thing and someone very kindly just took a photo for us. So we shall see how that comes out. The flash was on, but hopefully it should be all right. I don't know. We've moved location again. We're at another pretty light feature. We're in King's Cross with the birdcage, but very annoyingly it doesn't have the swing in it anymore. So King's Cross, sort it out, thanks. Um, so this is what it looks like. 
so pretty and I've got the camera on a little uh, monopod here I mean you can't really see it it's not focusing um, and I've also got the wide lens on it I'm trying to work out how to use the remote control but we just can't figure it out as I mentioned earlier I've left the manual at Leo's so I'll have to figure it out another time and we're just going to try bulb mode and see how it goes cool Hi everyone, I'm home now and I just wanted to do a quick sort of talk through the images that I took today. Obviously these were my first shots with the Lomography Lemo Instant Automat. I'm really enjoying this camera so far. I mean, I think it's just like the joy of playing with a new camera. That's just a wonderful feeling. Obviously it's late at night now and I would rather kind of take some photos of the images in natural light. So I'm gonna take photos of those tomorrow and insert them kind of like here in the frame. <laughs> that gives a nice little space. Now I've gotta keep the camera like this. So the first image that I took was of the new Tate Modern building. Um, I was really scared of taking the first photo, but I am so, so thrilled with how it came out. Um, obviously there's a lot to learn in terms of framing instant photos um, as you can kind of see at the top I think I caught a bit of a building or something in the top of it there but I really loved like that shard of light down the middle of the building I just think that's beautiful and I feel like the photos from this camera are so crisp it's just really beautiful I'm really enjoying the colours as well they're definitely a little bit different to my previous cameras I've used I'm wondering if that's sort of the lomography effect of the camera but I'm really happy with that as a first shot I think that's great one thing I did notice straight off the bat I don't know if it's because of the cold temperature and the way um, basically instant photos develop a little bit differently in colder temperatures so I don't know if that's the uh, issue I'm having here but there seems to be a bit of like almost neon fringing in some of the photos um, which is fine like instant photos don't have to be perfect for me I don't mind if like some little things go wrong so that's that's fine but it might be something that i talk to lomography about to uh see if it's me the camera or the film the second shot i took was um by millennium bridge i think it is um heading like facing st paul's which is such a lovely view i think it's very like quintessentially london and also i will always think of harry potter when i see the millennium bridge so i really enjoy taking photos of it quite similar to the tate modern photo um it was taken fairly soon after that photo yeah i really really enjoyed the colors in that again the the sky was beautiful tonight it was so gorgeous so i feel like that came out really well and again it's it's pretty crisp I'm really enjoying it, but again, it does have that slight neon fringing at the top. I'm not sure what's happening there. The third photo was um, by the, what's it called? The um, the Scoop by like City Hall and Facing Tower Bridge and stuff. They've got a really nice Christmas tree. I feel like it's actually the same Christmas tree that I saw at Heathrow Airport the other day. I wonder if the same people have <laughs> done that, but um, the flash actually went off on this photo. I forgot to take off and normally I, I hate it when the flash goes off on instant cameras and I was really worried when this one was developing but it's actually come out quite nicely you can see the tree in a lot of detail and like you can see kind of the silhouette of Tower Bridge in the background which actually looks pretty cool and the sky looks gorgeous so actually it was kind of a win our next stop on the day out was to um, the OXO Tower Wharf because I had seen on Instagram that there was this really cool light installation and um, so a woman I was trying to set up on my monopod the camera for us to take um, like a selfie, whatever, um, a photo of all of us in the light installation and a lady very kindly offered to take it for me and I thought, you know what, that's actually easier because I couldn't figure out how to work the remote for the camera. So she took it, the flash went off. I think ideally it would have been better had she been closer to us. Uh, you can only just really see us in the photo, but it's fine it's a learning curve I might try and go back to that area to take an instant photo of it to see how it turns out also above the light installation there were these cool like flecks of uh, neon lighting strips on the wall and I didn't use the flash in that photo to kind of test what it would look like and I think it does look cool but perhaps with this one it would have been better for me to use the flash to get a bit more detail in the photo I didn't end up using the fisheye lens 
uh, during this test. I'm not a huge fan of images with that fisheye look. Some people like it, I personally don't. But I was really intrigued by the wide angle lens. So I was actually using it for quite a few of these photos. And um, we went back to King's Cross because they've got the bird cage, which is like all lit up. It's the like, um, identified flying object I think it's called. So it's a beautiful thing to photograph and I also wanted to try the uh, long exposure bulb mode. I didn't know how long to use it for, um, I just sort of guessed and again I have my little monopod which is so handy and again I was trying to figure out the remote control lens cap and I just couldn't so I just risked it. I just held the tripod really steadily and pressed the button for I think it was probably about maybe four seconds or something and as you can see from the image it's quite um, I would say it's actually come out really well considering um, the bird cage is very colourful so you can't really see that in this shot but to be fair it's kept the clarity of it quite a lot which I'm really impressed about and I thought well as I'm going to try that shot again just as a normal photo with the flash off just straight up I took the wide angle lens off of the camera to take the second photo so I have a bit of a comparison there because I didn't move the camera at all in between those shots. If I did, it was very marginal. It's from like basically the same position. So you can kind of see a comparison there of the wide angle versus the normal lens on the camera. Sorry, I feel like I was really long winded and I've kind of like rambled through it. I just wanted to do a sort of, not a comprehensive review of the camera, but just my initial impressions and my first photos from it. I'm so impressed. I'm really, really enjoying this camera. I'm still a bit apprehensive of using it just because it's so new and I'm scared like I'm going to break it or something like that, something stupid, but I'm so enjoying it at the moment. I just need to figure out what's going on with that sort of fringing of the neon at the top. Hopefully it's not a big issue or maybe it'll maybe it'll go once the camera's settling in. Maybe it's the cold. Who knows? It's fine but I am super excited to use this camera in the future. Give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if you shoot instant photography. I'd love to meet some fellow instant photographers out there. Um, if you're watching these Vlogmas videos, I hope you're enjoying them. And if you've just come across my channel, please do subscribe if you'd like to see more from me in the future. I'd love to do more kind of walkabout Instax videos like this in the future. So let me know if you enjoyed it. <laughs> I hope you're all doing well and I will see you in the next video. Bye.